Okay, so if you remember, we uh, put a, an eight and a half inch filler in here. It ended up being a little bit short, so our next filler actually is going to be about nine inches. So what we want to do is maintain a 16, at least a 16 inch stagger from this joint. So we'll come back 16 inches, which is this cut line here. That's what makes these cut lines so nice. And this piece is going to be 41 inches long. So that's going to now give us a nice tight joint up against the concrete wall. This now gives us our 16 inch stagger from our joint below and we'll continue laying block. Okay, when you, when you place your first block against another block, it's always best to lock it in here first and then squish it down. This makes sure that your joint stays nice and tight. So always tap it down on your far away joint and work your way to the set block. Now, because of our 16 inch stagger, this will leave a natural 16 inch joint at this end. So we just have to cut a block and then we'll lay our rebar and keep on going. Now the second course of steel goes opposite to the first course that you put in. So the first course is two clips over from the inside face. This one's going to be two courses over from the outside face. Okay, we maintain our overlap again. The, the overlap of the rebar stays the same, 40 times the bar diameter, but this one again is opposite to the one below. This, this creates a natural place as you weave up the wall to drop your vertical steel in. 